Morning, kids. Bone Spur. Chapalachian here. Uh, coming to you from wherever we are. Lean to number three at the Abel campground. And uh, yesterday was magic. Blue sky, sunshine, despite the weather report. What did we do? We climbed Mount Katahdin. And we returned safely. And uh, lived to tell about it. What, what a magic day. One of the great iconic days in all of hiking. Beautiful views all day long. Beautiful weather. Clouds in and out when we got up to the top. Just couldn't ask for more. It was really terrific. What a day. T today's not like that. <laughs> Today, today is 100% chance of rain. It's been raining all night. It's raining right now. It's miserable. We've got to do a two-mile road walk just to get to the AT, and then we've got to do 10 miles to meet the shuttle at 4 o'clock. So come along with us. It's flat. We're in Baxter State Park, and uh, we're on our way on the Appalachian Trail, southbound. All right. The bogs are flowing today. This is a pretty easy one here. Had some where they were kind of raging and the water was going over the boards. There's Daisy Pond on a gray Sunday. Here's a river hopefully we're not going to ford. Wow, look at that shoot there. Oh my goodness. Incredible. We could have forded this twice. But we took the blue blaze instead, which we proved. Yeah. 
Alienating. A lot of nice tread today. It's been pretty flat. Rain on and off. Hadn't been real heavy except earlier. Got the umbrella up. It's the main feature today is, uh, you know, the river is it was just raging. So there was a uh, high water blue blaze. We took that and avoided both the crossings. And uh, we were advised of that by several people. So that's what we did. So, a little afternoon, maybe it's 12.30, got four miles to go, need to be there by four o'clock to get picked up and maybe we can get there early and call and see if they can come get us, that'd be nice. And then we've been talking about forward plans, we're kind of not prepared for four day, three night backpacking trip right at this moment. Plus, I've got a prescription at the pharmacy. Plus, having dinner tonight with high school friends. So, not sure what we're doing. And don't know if the hostel has room for tomorrow night. Possibly take a zero tomorrow. And then do the final assault on the 100 mile. So, well, we'll just have to see. kids that was uh, September 27th and here it is November 29th and I'm in uh, where am I Atkins Virginia at uh, the Long Neck Lair Alpaca Farm Hostel very nice and uh, what a day that was on the actually it was September 26th and uh, day after Katahdin rained all night and rained all day we had to go Two mile road walk to get back to the trail and then uh, did 10 miles from there flat most of the day uh, but you saw the raging rivers um, one time we were supposed to we were supposed to cross that one river twice um, but fortunately it was a blue blaze because there was no way you could do it and uh, then at the end of the day we got to the a ball campground and uh, it wasn't the a ball campground we got to the a ball bridge and there was a convenience store there that wasn't very convenient and it wasn't much of a store and they didn't have much going on. There was a restaurant there that was closed and uh, so we had to sit there for several hours. It was freezing. We were wet and it was freezing cold and there were a whole lot of people there and uh, it was sort of a very uncomfortable situation and uh, until um, the shuttle showed up, took us back to the AT Lodge and then out to dinner uh, with Barb, uh, my friend Barb, who's a uh, state legislator in Maine, and uh, and her friend who uh, was the used to be the president of the state senate there, and then my friend Pete, and uh, and his significant other, and I went to Pete. I went to elementary school with, and junior high and high school, and Barbara went to junior high and high school with. So it was great. We had a great dinner, and uh, really really enjoyed our time there. So that was a lot of fun, and uh, so that's it. That was. Uh, that was that day, you know, and uh, just a few days left through the 100 miles wilderness after that. And uh, yeah, it was uh, a really, really great time. A really great time. That whole time. What a time. And I'm paying the toll now, though, uh, because now it's tough. It's cold. 
it's winter and I'm at the end of the line of the Sobo hikers. So, uh, but I can reflect back on my times in Maine <laughs> uh, when I'm out here slogging it out in Virginia. And uh, it kind of warms me up a little bit. So, anyhow, that'll do it. May your eyes be filled with wonders. May your heart be full of joy. May your footsteps be firm as you walk with God. Amen. Thank you.